We pull into the parking lot among cheerful citizens and local media. Evelyn is there stomping for her candidate as usual, and there is an increase in protection thanks to Dario. But I can't worry about that now. My parents arrive and the attention is diverted from me for a moment. All attention. Dario and Raphael meet my parents at the door of the car, escorting them to my side. Mom, you look beautiful. I say, acknowledging her presence. As do you, my love. She hugs me and I reciprocate. Dad grabs my hand in an enduring manner. You did it, baby. My dad beams, framing my face with his soft hands. This sinner will change so many kids' lives. Just you wait. Mom loops her arm through mine, her soft laughter lines crinkling with pride. We're so incredibly proud of you, Mia. For now, any lingering resentment over my dad's arranged deal with Dario melts away as I bask in their affection. Dario joins us and we turn toward the crowd and wave in the usual political fashion. The city manager brings over the oversized novelty pair of shears and Dad and I place our hands on the handle. The Gordon Community Center is now open. Flashing cameras and cheers from the crowd greet us as we slice the ceremonial ribbon. Pride swells in my chest. This is my legacy being cemented before my eyes. We stroll inside, welcoming those who have gathered to take a tour and stroll around before the inaugural dedication speeches take place. The community center is abuzz with excitement and energy. People mingle throughout the large space, admiring the various rooms, sleek computer labs with the latest tech, quiet study nooks tucked into cozy nooks, even a craft room humming with sewing machines and sculpting tools. This place has everything a kid could need to find their spark. I work the crowd with a smile, engaging the attendees in conversation and soaking up their enthusiasm. Their joy and gratitude wash over me, fueling my own sense of accomplishment. Spotting my parents across the room, I make my way over to them. Dario trailing close behind me like a silent sentinel. My mother envelops me in a tight hug, her eyes misty. Mm -hmm. 